What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we were, went around more in Glare Gulch Mine, getting some more jiggies, and actually doing pretty well exploring uh, almost all of it. And today, we're going to be going to the train station, but first, I want to go in here. Oh, this is just gloomy caverns, okay. So I guess I accidentally, uh, when I was exploring this, I think an episode or two ago... I accidentally unlocked the train station portal, which I didn't even know. Now, we are going to go in it, but first, I want to go up here. Is there anything? No, just honeycomb pieces? Okay. I guess we can finally go in it. Let's go. This is an important part of the game. Trust me. <laughs> Welcome here, and... Oh, we need Mumbo. Oh. I didn't think that. I thought he had like one thing to do in each world. We go in here inside Chuffy's wagon. We haven't met Chuffy yet. Uh, that signpost actually spoiled stuff, so I'm not gonna worry about that now. All right, let me go get Mumbo back. Okay, Mumbo, let's do this. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Uh, can we go in it? No, we can't? Alright. Now let me get the bear and bird back. Alright. The bear. Okay, I need to stop with that mumbo voice. The bear and bird are back. Let's finally go in here. And, hmm. This is my train control. Wait, what? What'd he say? What'd he say? Uh. You'll have to battle me before you go anywhere. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like it came from inside that boiler. Okay. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a jiggy. Grubby Boiler Monarch? Okay. Urgh, who dares enter old King Cole's boiler? Ahem, <laughs> I'm Banjo, and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. Urgh, you would, huh? In that case, I'll fight you for it. But you're supposed to be a Mario son. Urgh, not me, pal. But you soon be feeling my Mario soul on the top of your puny heads. Oh, okay, King Colt, sorry. Oh, there's actually a timer. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I'll be honest. Okay. Urgh. Let's see how you cope with the little heat. Did we just attack him? Oh, we just attack him with eggs. Okay. That's kind of... Okay, but all right. I guess that means there is... I, I guess that makes warm for the time limit. So no great loss. I still have another arm. Okay. Alright, I want to be careful because you never know what could happen in boss fights. <laughs> I honestly don't remember King Cole a lot at the fight. Lord, but I don't need arms to beat you. Hey, I'd rather have arms instead of legs. I need my arms to play video games. <laughs> If I always had the choice to lose my arms or legs, I would go... I would lose my legs, uh... I would take losing my legs instead of my arms. <laughs> I need these bad boys to actually play video games. Or perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. I actually feel kind of bad now. <laughs> Do I? No. There we go, only nine left. Alright, come on. I'm so lazy, I'm not gonna move. 
Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all. But don't you dare hit anything! I only just polished... it. Apparently we're running out of air, so... I didn't even notice how much... how much health I still have left. But yeah, that's it for that boss. And the lava or the coal doesn't actually hurt us. There's Jiggy number... seven, I believe. Out of all the ones we have so far. And now we can use this train, but we don't have anywhere else to go, so we won't worry about that for the moment. Maybe in the next world, hmm? <laughs> Actually, can we go to- I don't think there's one in Maya Him Temple, but... Hey. It doesn't hurt to try. There's no train stations open for my train to go to. Okay, then. Alright. I just check and indeed we are at 7, so we're actually pretty good to do what I'm dreading to do. I've been dreading this ever since we released her. We are missing two more uh, honeycomb pieces, but I don't know where they are, so... Depending on how long this is going to take, we'll just do them next time. Alright, let's go to World Entry and Exit. I really don't want to do this. I really hate this part. This is... She is one of my least favorite characters in this game. Hey there, Canary Mary. Are you still around? Ah, oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch some... No, no. On this old handcart? I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it, Joy. And put it back on track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? Don't flatter her, Kazooie, please don't. I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tax, tap X as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. Yeah, oh, just hop on the cart. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> All right, let me try this again.
Oh, I think we be you there, Mary. Second try, not bad. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Can you give us everything you have, please? Yeah, I'm not sure we want that in the case. Case. Don't you mean like backpack? Or your mouth since you swallowed him? That was a fine or it sure was. My wings are starting to feel better, oh joy. How about racing back again? Hop on the card if you think you can beat me again. Uh, let me rest my wrist before I actually and talk about what just happened. Basically, if you did not want to hear all the tapping, uh, I believe it she goes through the rubber band effect, how this race works. Which basically, if you go too far ahead, she will s speed up to match your to match where you are in the race. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, and trust me, each race gets harder and harder. I think it would be interesting if we had like Kazooie helping us or something, so that we, we at least get like some sort of speed boost. I don't know. But anyway, as we're going through the second race, because yes, she does have another one. I'm going to be talking about Old King Cole. I just realized I did not die during the Old King Cole fight, so what he says is back for er, back for another roasting. We'll need a train to help our adventure. And why might that be? Don't know yet, but we're taking it anyway. Not unless you beat me first. I'm pretty sure that was not the Old King Cole voice, but it is now. <laughs> okay, next time we'll see him, he'll probably do it. Anyway, uh, while we're doing the Canary Mary race. Old King Cole has been a tribute to him. He has a reference to the nursery rhyme Old King Cole. Uh, it could be seen what Kazooie says, but you're supposed to be a merry er, but you're supposed to be a merry old soul. As well as Cole's sarcastic retort of having his merry old soul on top of Banjo and Kazooie's puny heads. And it's a reference to the line, and a merry old soul was he. He gives an achievement in the Xbox versions called Merry Old Soul, which is also a reference to the nursery rhyme. And <laughs> finally enough, he resembles the great mighty Pooh from Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, which... I'll be honest, I haven't even... Pl I played Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, but I never actually got back to it. So anyway, that is it for Old King Cole. Actually, a very interesting bit of trivia. I never even heard of Nursery Rhyme Old King Cole until researching for this project, so. Alright. I'll see you guys at the end of this race. Hopefully, I have it done by the time I'm talking about this. Yes! And it didn't take that long either. That's too old a two for us, Mary! Perhaps you like this piece of paper as a prize? It's been wedged in my... No! I don't want to know where it's been. I want to know to get everything out of her. I think I spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye bye, friends. Please be there forever. Go, go to another game. Go to the spinoff that never happened. Alright, this is the last Cheeto page in this world, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yes, it is. All we're missing is two honey cone pieces, a Jinjo, and... 
two Jiggies, one is available in Mayhem Temple. We have to dig out the Delberta. And the other we can't get for a while, so we're doing pretty well for ourselves. So, let me go around Glitter Gulch Mine and find this Jinjo and two uh, Honeycomb pieces. Oh, there's the rare crate. I figured there'd be something around here that we could get. Alright, that's number two. And, uh, actually, about the last Jinjo, I actually have it in my notes, I just didn't actually read it yet. Uh, the last Jinjo we cannot get until World 4? World 4, I'm pretty sure we can't get it until then, so... Yeah, just don't worry about that for now. Alright, let's go out here, because I think the last honeycomb piece is somewhere around here. We got the one in the Toxic Mine. Um... Pretty sure it's like right by the prospector's hut, wherever it is. I actually forgot where the prospector's hut was. Ugh. No, it's like up here. Okay, yes, here's the prospector's hut. And so I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere. Is this just below the Prospector Sun? I didn't realize it. Holy crap, it was. Okay. I knew it was somewhere near the Prospector Sun. I just didn't even notice it. There we go. This is the last honeycomb piece. We are uh, actually done with Blair Gold Twine for now. Well, not for now. We're going to go back to it in the next episode. <laughs> but... That is going to be it for this episode. We have finished up almost all of Glitter Gulch Mine. We still have that one Jiggy to get from Dilberto, which we're going to do next time. So, next one, let's play Banjo of Tui. We're going to be backtracking back to Mayahem Temple, doing some stuff there, and going actually around Spiral Mountain to get a few new things with our, with our new moves and eggs and drilling. See you guys in... Oh, wait, actually, there's... Miss due to notes here. Alright. See you guys then.